This is the Masuchi Bomber, the Jumper 2. The client wants uh, the travel to be adjusted from 100mm to uh, longer travel. It's got a 15mm through axle, 100mm of travel. I have clamped the fork to my woodworking bench. As a note to the viewers, I have already opened the fork and found that the travel can't be adjusted to a longer length. So the purpose for the disassembly is just for documentation and to show the internals of the fork in case there are others who still use this fork. This fork has both a pneumatic and coil spring for suspension. First we must uh, remove the air inside both legs, both lowers. See, I have already removed the air since I have already opened the fork. So this is for documentation purposes only. Both legs of the fork has a, a pneumatic cartridge and we use a we use a wrench to remove the caps. I did not uh, tighten this when I assembled the fork back. So I can just and screw it by hand. It already has no oil since I already disassembled the fork. We're going to add the oil after we reassemble the fork later. Both legs have coil springs. For the bolts, we need a 12 millimeter socket wrench. Oops. The bottom nuts has o-ring seals. These are the seals for the pneumatics and the oil bath. This part here is made of plastic and this part is made of aluminum. The fork is still in excellent condition. These are the internals of the fork. The left and right parts are basically similar except for the materials. This is plastic, this is aluminum. Both have springs. The other spring is slightly uh, shorter, about 5 millimeters. As we can see in the shims the bushings it's not the same it has been compensated by the length of the spring from the cap of the valve the shims or the bushing the coil springs the negative spring both both legs and the nuts it's got an excellent wiper design. This is about the difference between the spring of the left and the right. The coil springs. Now let's reassemble the fork. 